In this last video for this week, I'm going to talk to you a little bit about selecting colors in Illustrator. So first off, I'm going to take the direct selection tool and select Spain and Portugal here. Both of these shapes have this sort of beige color. The basic color picker for Illustrator, if we were to double click on one of these swatches here, in this case the fill swatch, opens up this picker where we have hue values that are on this slider here so we can change back and forth between red and purple, blue, green, yellow, orange, red, etc. And then over here is this dual axis area where we have saturation values on this axis and brightness values on this axis. And so as we move our little color swatch around, everything in here is working with the same hue. The hue is selected over here. So if I go all the way to the, this far extreme, then I'm working with a perfectly red hue. But then I can change its saturation. I can make it grayer on this side or more red on this side. And then I can make it darker down here so this is low brightness or brighter up here and way up in this corner is going to be that full saturation full brightness red and then over here is going to be a white and then in both of these corners is going to be perfectly black in all circumstances so no matter which color we're using this is always going to be white up here and then black down at the bottom with a fully saturated color up here the other nice thing about this color picker is that it shows us our new color relative to the color of the the current color of the objects that we're picking color for. So it can be handy to be able to compare those two, especially if you're trying to make a subtle change. The other thing that we have is listed all of the sort of numeric characteristics of the color that we've chosen with all of these different models. So we've got a hue, saturation, and brightness model here an RGB or red, green, blue model here. And this is the model that is used for defining colors on a, on a computer screen. We've got the CMYK or the cyan, magenta, yellow, uh, black model here. And this is the model that's used by professional presses or a lot of printers. And then down here we've got hexadecimal color. And this is the color that's used by HTML coding to produce colors uh, on the web. The other thing that we can do is we can change how this color selector works by choosing a different variable on one of these color models. So say that I choose saturation, now I've got saturation on this axis, and that gets held constant while I can now choose my brightness and my hue over in this two-dimensional space. And I can also have brightness over on this axis where I choose saturation and hue over here. I think it's probably most intuitive to leave it on with hue being on this slider because saturation and brightness are these two things that we we have a very sort of visual sense of whether or not we want something more gray or more bright and it, it just works from my perspective very well to have those two on this dual axis so I'll click OK and now that we've changed those colors, you can see that they've been updated here. I don't think that works particularly well in this circumstance. Uh, we probably don't want Spain and Portugal to be this sort of dark blue. Uh, it's dark, especially desaturated blue. So I'm going to draw your attention to this the color panel up here, which is just another place that we can do color selection. And you can see that in this case, we've got the CMYK color model that's up here. And we can change the model that it's using in the color panel by clicking on this little menu in the upper right hand corner. So we could use a grayscale model if we wanted to and then we only have one slider for different shades between white on this side and black on this side or any scale of gray in between. We can use the RGB model here. We can use HSB or hue saturation and brightness and we can use CMYK. We can also use web safe RGB. If you're trying to design something for the web, this will constrict the number of colors that you can use because there are only a limited number of colors that you can use uh, for designing for the web. I'm going to change this back to hue, saturation, and brightness. So I think most appropriate to use for this country fill is something that's sort of in that beige area that we already were. If we take down the saturation, then we get sort of a, a beige-ish thing. We probably want it to be a little bit brighter. The other nice thing about this color panel is that you can get swatches for plain white and plain black very easily. So that if I know that I want the stroke for these countries to be black, all I need to do is click on that little stroke thing there, or conversely you could have clicked on the stroke uh, on the stroke icon right there, and then just hit black, and then it will automatically change that to black. So now if we deselect just by clicking off in the white space here, you'll see that the outline of those countries have been changed to black.
The final way of selecting colors I want to draw your attention to is the swatches panel. This is the same panel that we use when we were doing pattern fills. It also contains definitions for different colors. And so say that we really wanted to store this sort of beige color for use in the future. We can select that object and get that that fill color swatch at the front of this uh, little color selector right here. If we come over to the swatches panel then and hit the new button, it'll make a new swatch out of that color that's at the front of this, uh, this color selector. You can say whether you want that color to be defined using RGB, HSB, CMYK, and there are some other color modes here uh, that you can choose from. So I might just say that I want it to be defined with HSB and you can even name that swatch. So we'll call it uh, country color and say OK. And now that swatch has been added to the swatches menu. And if you wanted to make something else that color, like say this island, I could select that. And then all I need to do is select that swatch and it will change it so that it has that, that uh, fill color.